Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all students. This video is a briefing for our assignment 1 for this semester for CHM092. This assignment is a group and written assignment. So, in this video, I will briefly explain on the topic, the assessment, the structure and the timeline for this assignment. Because the Sustainable Development Goals are much relevant to our community, for example in the economy, social and environment, so we choose Sustainable Development Goal 6, or also known as SDG 6, which covers clean water and sanitation, to be as the topic for our Assignment 1. This assignment will cover 10% out of the overall marks of assessment in CHM092. So, this assignment will assess through two methods, that is direct observation, DO, uh, covers 5%, and also peer observation, PO, which covers also 5%. So, direct observation will be done by the lecturer, and peer observation will be done by your group members. The direct observation will be done by the lecturer based on two criteria, that is values and attitude, and secondly, the ethics and professionalism. You may read through all the details for these criteria in the rubric in the lab manual. On the other hand, the peer observation will be assessed based on the managerial skills, that is based on the time management, the decision making, the organization of ideas, delegation of work, and also the motivation. So you may also read through all these criteria given in the rubrics in your lab manual. The peer observation will be done using Google form that will be given by your lecturers. Okay, for the assignment structure, it consists of front cover, Table of Contents, Abstract, Main Body, which consists of Introduction, Literature Review, Methodology, Data Analysis and Discussion, Conclusion and Recommendation, as well as References. All the details for each item are provided in your lab manual, so please read through all details for further information. Okay, next we go to the technical specification of the assignment. So these are the technical specification that you need to follow. So of course the language must be in English. The font is Times New Roman and the size is 12 points. The line spacing is 1.5. The alignment must be justified. The margin is 2.5 cm on both left and right side. And because this assignment will be submitted uh, through online, so you may not have to print and bind it, okay? And uh, the size is A4, number of pages between 10 until 5, 15 pages. And you have to include the page number at the bottom right of the page. Okay, next we we'll look at the quality and integrity of the assignment. So the first thing first is the plagiarism, that is uh, copying other people's work is strictly prohibited. And if you got caught, action will be taken in accordance to UITM plagiarism policy. That means we strictly look into this matter. So uh, to avoid plagiarism, you may have to use Turnitin software. And from this software, we will check the similarity index. So the Requirement is that you cannot exceed 30% of similarity index. Okay, so further instruction on how to use this Tenetin software, you have to consult with your respective lecturer. Okay, so now how to avoid plagiarism. So firstly is you should not copy other people's work without acknowledgement. So use uh, quotation or you use direct quotation and you cite accordingly using APA citation style or you may use inverted commas. Another way is you use paraphrase and cite, that means you use your own word to describe the phrase and you use citation. 
the information on how to avoid plagiarism are given in your lab manual. So kindly read through them. And also you may need to discuss with your respective lecturer to get more information on how to avoid plagiarism. Okay, so this is the Gantt chart which describes the timeline uh, for all the activities needed to be done uh, to do the assignment throughout this first semester. Basically, I have finished a brief on uh, the assignment. So now I also include example on uh, one of the assignments so that all of you may have some an idea on how to do this assignment. <coughs> okay, so now <coughs> um, out of seven scope of SDG six, <coughs> let's say your lecturer choose uh, topic number four. So how to use water. Okay, and in this topic for how to reuse water, so of course there's a lot of ways to reuse water and a lot of study has been done to look into on how to reuse water. So maybe one of the, the method is uh, using a water treatment. And let's say throughout your discussion and reading among your group members, you have decided that you want to use these paper as your references. Uh, to look into the treatment of the industrial wastewater containing heavy metals. Okay, so as for your introduction, so based on your reading from the journals and also from other reading materials, you have found out that uh, the wastewater from the industry activity consists of heavy metals such as copper, lead, zinc and so on. So in developed countries, for example, in European countries, removal of these heavy metal is normally achieved by advanced technologies. However, in developing countries, for example, in Malaysia, these advanced technologies cannot be applied due to lack of expertise and also lack of fund. So therefore, um, the paper uh, study or uh, propose a simple and economic removal method to be an alternative solution for the problem which can be utilized in the developing countries. So basically for the introduction, you may highlight the problem, uh, the current problem that occur in the respective area that you're looking at. And also you look into the solution that people have done uh, that you refer in the journal. Okay, now for the literature review, it is actually a study on detail uh, about your introduction. Well, let's say in your introduction, you have mentioned about heavy metal. So in this literature review, you describe more details. So why is these heavy metals important? Okay, Why is it important to study about these heavy metals in our wastewater? Because the, the heavy metal will cause uh, environmental pollution. And not only that, it also will uh, give a serious problems to the health of uh, to the human being. For example, dysfunction of kidney, reproductive system and so on. Okay, and you mentioned in the introduction that the uh, uh, removal of the heavy metals. Okay, so now in the literature review, you mentioned exactly what are the methods that they use, and why is it applicable in the develop uh, in the developed country but not in, in developing country, and so on. And also, um, you mentioned that a uh, study has been done to look uh, for an alternative to that problem. So you mentioned uh, exactly what are the uh, the alternative solution that people are studying at. So you use uh, provide more information on what is absorption using pump oil, fuel ash, the the concord use for the removal of metal ions, and so on. So basically, literature review is um, you you will describe and you will give more information. 
Okay, next for your objective. So you have you must state what is your objective in doing this assignment. Okay, for example, uh, you want to evaluate the applicability of this uh, agricultural waste material because you have proposed that these waste materials may be an alternative. So your objective is to check or to evaluate on whether these materials are applicable in doing so. Okay, then number two, you suggest solutions to the limitation of the waste material because uh, throughout your reading, you, see, you may see that uh, this waste material may be an alternative but may be not so good um, or not comparable with the conventional uh, absorption material. So you, you provide two or maybe three objectives for your uh, assignment. Okay, for the methodology, so in this section, you will describe the whole process uh, uh, on how you do your assignment. Okay, example here is firstly, from your reading, you will identify what are the agri agricultural ways that can be used as adsorbent in the wastewater treatment. And then uh, you will see the data from uh, the paper, then you will evaluate the parameter, for example, the bioabsorption capacity, bioabsorbent dose. These are all the uh, studies that relate uh, to the uh, adsorption uh, parameters. And then from there, from the analysis, you will recognize the limitation in the agricultural waste materials and method. And lastly, you will propose uh, you may have to uh, to to read uh, from other materials that you you will find what are the things that you can propose to to be an alternative solution. It might not be the good one, but you just propose what can be what can be done. Okay, next the data analysis and discussion. So. Uh, Again, you, you will look uh, through the data analysis uh, from the journals that you refer uh, and then you briefly describe what they have found, what are the, the results shown and you may provide your discussion to support uh, their, their findings. Okay, so in this part, you may also state what are the limitations uh, from your findings and lastly, you will propose what are the alternative solutions. So maybe throughout your reading, uh, you have found that, that maybe addition of small amount of nanoparticles may enhance the absorption capacity. Okay, then lastly for your conclusion, you roughly, you, you basically you will conclude based on your objective. So, uh, first objective just now is uh, to look at the applicability. So, you state that yes, uh, it may be an alternative um, okay, because of the low cost. Uh, then number two, however, the, the absorption capacity are still not adequate for application. So, more studies are needed. Okay, so these are the example on how to do it. But you may have to consult with your lecturer. With that, I thank you.